I hear familiar footfalls. Come closer, Vessel. Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old... Despite my blindness... Indeed, but let us not get ahead of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Follow me, Vestal, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part of the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Mock Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. There, I first set eyes on the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blind to the light of the world. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid, living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, I only know that you are important, Vestige. The Scroll Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. The Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragonfire. Aaron Aquilarius, the son of the Colobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leo. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abnathar, a powerful sorcerer, grand chancellor to the Imperial Golden Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahar, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, a traitor, the king of worlds, a powerful necromancer, and your execution. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. Many Marco convinced Varen that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the dragonborn. By tradition, only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule. Each of the five companions were chosen. You've already met Lyris. Sai Sahar came from a long line of Red Guard Swordmaster Therns, or one of the most influential families in Cyrodiil. Manamarco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every cause. Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now what? It 
is. The Dragonfire Brazier. Manimarco. It will work, will work, my liege. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the Dragonfires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half-giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky is opening up. This is bad. This is very bad! Ah! This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Nanny Marco, what have you done? Gulliver fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Moloch Baal, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh, forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! Ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion, allowing Manimarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the Dark Anchors and initiate the Tang Mount. Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nairn. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamria would be protected from the Daedra. Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the Covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. Varen was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Manamarco and delivered to Cold Harbor the realm of Molog Baal. Thaun remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Tribio rules as Empress Regent, but the true power remains in the hands of Manimarco and his worm cult. When I discovered the truth about the Five Companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manimarco got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamarco feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierced the tomb of the it seemed to draw near into the depths of Kalkar. His terrible engines of destruction.
And so it falls to us, Vestige. We must stop Molog Bar and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? As you say. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. And there is so much to do. But know this, we must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precisely in the Marco's agents. Leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another, and they forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest.